Now we're looking for ingredients to put in the Jadam herbal solution. I'm doing a sort of medicine man sort of thingy where I'm collecting a bunch of stuff from the forest and I'm going to put it all together. And if it turns out to be a cure, then I'll investigate which of the things was responsible for the cure. He finally figured it out, isolated the component of the forest that was a cure for cancer. The sword fern is an evergreen, so it's constantly exposed to and fighting off fungi. I'm putting in so many herbs in this solution that I can't do too much of any one. I'm out of shape. I'm just looking for an organ grape. I know they're everywhere. So here's my organ grape patch. Okay, one of them. I wanna get some root in my solution. I've chosen a victim. it's forest soil, forest loam, it came out real easily. Look at that, look at that bright yellow. That's the magical substance of the plant. You can see it has some kind of signs of disease, kind of like Salal has, spots. There's some like soda susceptible to some disease. It's nothing that kills it, but I mean, it just shows that it's not perfectly resistant plant. Well, check that out. I have an invasive holly here. It's the bigger holly. Over here, you see the seeds supposed to come down. I'm planning on using a holly, but it actually looks like a sucker. He's got fewer diseases on him. So this is what I'm going to do differently from Jadam. If you know how OHN works with KNF, you process and store and ferment your ingredients separately. You have ginger in one jar, licorice in another, angelica in another, etc. And that makes sense to me because each plant has its own component that you want to, to multiply, that you want to preserve, that you want to enhance. You don't want them competing with each other as you're developing them. You know, and then you mix them kind of last minute before you use them, right? So they have a chance to work synergistically. With JHS, I'm going to be boiling everything. And according to the directions, he boils them one at a time. I mean, one plant at a time and stores them, I think, one species at a time. And it took some convincing, first of all, for me to even want to boil them. So I'm more of a fermenting person. But it sounded like from reading the book that he's thought about all the different options. He's thought about alcohol, he's thought about vinegar, he's thought about just setting it in water. But he still is not only saying to boil them, but to even say like how long. And what's fascinating about it is he says, well, you know, if you like pressure boil it, then it's gonna be four hours. But if you boil it on a stove, it's gonna be like five hours. That's fascinating to me because it's like, did you really boil it on a stove for four hours and then test it and it didn't work? And you thought, well, if only I boiled it for another hour, it would have worked. And you tried it again for five hours and then it worked. Like that's, that's fascinating to me that you would know you test it and know that it, you, know, you need to boil it for five hours. So to me, it just sounded like he's thought about all the things that I'm thinking about and he's tried them out, he's tested them out, and he's still is sold on boiling. So that's how he convinced me to go ahead and boil them. What he hasn't convinced me of, maybe because he, didn't, he just didn't address it, was doing them separately. Basically, the way my logic goes, what's left behind after you've boiled it is just the minerals, the chemicals or the compounds or the, the medicinal properties 
and they're the ones that are water soluble. I see it as this inert, dead property. If you are taking a mineral supplement, you know, you can take calcium and then you have a calcium bottle and your iron and so forth. Or you can just take a multivitamin that has them all together. That's how I think of it. You know, it's not a living thing. It's just there for the minerals. Why can't I just boil the minerals together and store them together? So yeah, let's keep collecting. Now, I just saw this and I'm like, you know what? What the hell? This kind of reminds me of seaweed and you know, seaweed has all these uh, minerals in it. And this moss just like fell, it must have fallen off a maple tree. I see this as like protecting the maple tree. This kind of thing is antimicrobial. Of course, I'm going to kill it and boil it, but it could have some properties in there. What do you say we confer on the concoction uh, conifer medicinal properties? I'm definitely going to grab me some usnea. No, that doesn't even look like usnea. I'm kind of liking it. I'm liking it a lot. I mean, this is, no, this is Usnia. I think that's the while I'm here, I'm gonna grab myself some licorice fruit. It's really high. Um, These things can regenerate really fast. I'm gonna get some. There's the root. I'm gonna get some of this moss too. I was harvesting this hemlock to go in my concoction. And it's got these like a white cocoon little thingies in it. I have no idea what it is. It's like a maybe some kind of bug because it's it's turning like orange. This is so going to be like Medicine Man now because now I have a bug in my solution. That's so funny. So weird. Look at that. I know this camera doesn't focus or just, I don't know how to do it, but can you see like the reddish? This is totally like going Christmas shopping. I wish I could put bracken ferns in my solution, but they're all brown right now. I was hoping to find maybe a rogue green one, but I'm just seeing the brown ones. The brackens were specifically called out in Janam. That's why I'm using the sore fern and licorice fern instead. Okay, I really hate this particular weed, but I'm gonna use it because it likes to volunteer where the fruit trees are. So maybe it's got some minerals that it's trying to add to the soil. So I'm going to add it to my solution. This is a buttercup. It has these alien roots. I don't see a lot of it here, but I know where to find a whole bunch of it. Alien roots.
So we're also collecting herbs with really strong aromas. Here's a volunteer mustard. It's not looking very heavy, but he actually loves our winters. It's like a regular mint. I'm never afraid of killing my mint. Or should I say, never afraid of over harvesting my mint. This dollar. I'm harvesting the green alkanet because it's related to comfrey and borage. So there might be something real special on this root. That's my comfrey comfrey, and he's not looking very happy. He's, just, he's a little dormant right now. Are the minerals really not in here? If they die, they still might be in here. Even if they're not fresh. Fox love is always called out as a being really good for, as a fertilizer and a weed. Organ grape is our version of golden seal. But for some reason, it's not beloved, even though it's the same compound. Burba something, berbatine, ber berbituin, berbituates, tarpachlitha, formaldehyde. So here's my organ grape patch. 